Hi there everyone, we're in the reading room at the Royal Society and Keith has shown me something that has me very excited because he's shown me a picture of someone who is not only a hero of the Royal Society, he is a hero of my hometown of Adelaide. Indeed, this is Lord Flory of Adelaide. This is something I rather like because it's a working preparatory drawing and you can see it's covered with bits of paint and oil and, and string and all manner of things. No offence, but it's a bit of a mess. <laughs> it is a bit of a mess. It's fantastic though. What, yeah, tell, tell me yeah. the story. Well, this uh, is by an artist called Alan Gwynne Jones. He was commissioned to uh, portray Lord Flory, the great penicillin pioneer, of course, um, uh, for a portrait which is, is in Adelaide. So it's just a rather marvellous thing because it's the initial working drawing for, for something far larger. You know there are these great myths about scientists coming up with solutions to things and then engineers would write things on the back of envelopes. This is the only time I've ever seen it. This work of art is on the back of an envelope because Alan Gwynne Jones used to do marking for exam boards and he'd save the manila, manila envelopes and, and, and use them to draw on. And he's just ripped it apart, tied the strings on his easel and, and off he goes. Tell me about this folder and why this has come to be and then we'll have a look at what's in it. What's going on here? We have a room full of Flory papers. We have all of his personal correspondence. Uh, this is a, a rather late thing though. Um, it's a set of Royal Society papers because obviously the Royal Society likes to know when its presidents are portrayed and how they're portrayed and, and possibly get images and, and samples of, of those uh, uh, pictures. So, so this is why we have the particular file. Howard Florey is very well known to Australians because he used to be on our $50 note. Yeah. And as a young boy, I dreamed of having a $50 note. It seems to me the Royal Society has found out that Australia is about to put Florey on the $50 note. And very they, important. They've yeah. written a letter basically saying, this is fantastic, can you send us one of these notes. Yeah, absolutely right. Yeah. Yep. So we've got these letters between the Royal Society and various people at the Reserve Bank of Australia saying, no problems, we'll sort you out with 50 bucks. Indeed. Not happy to help. Royal Society always likes a donation. But do you know what? And I'm a bit embarrassed about this. <laughs> they did send a $50 note, but they sent a specimen with no, with no, no serial number and specimen written all over it. So they were too cheap to actually send you 50 bucks. They probably thought you guys at the Royal Society would spend it if they gave yeah, you a real $50. True, true. So I said to you, Keith, when I was young, I always dreamed of having a $50, a real $50 of my own. I am no closer because this isn't even the real thing. You can't spend it, I'm afraid. Stuck with a specimen. It'll have to stay in the archives. Having a model is a great thing. You can see it, it's very, very old. The gilded decoration is, is just uh, almost barely there. The rigging has all gone, of course. It was a single-masted uh, vessel uh, with a square sail. But um, fantastic just to have the actual thing in your hand.